Um, don't come for me. And I'm catching this, baby. Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. So if you guys see the title of today's video, you already know what's going down. So um, I'm gonna just be blown with you guys. I don't like to shave. I usually get, you know, Miss Kitty waxed. So she's really the only person on the team who gets taken care of when it comes to this hair stuff. I beg your pardon? I've been a homebody for a while now, so I haven't really had the need to shave. So don't be looking at me like I'm dirty or something because I'm not dirty, okay? I, I let things take a turn until, you know, they get really bad. So today I'm going to be waxing my underarms for the first time after... Guys, honestly, if I'm being real with you guys right now, I cannot remember the last time I shaved, waxed, anything under my arms. But I know that it was going back to either August or July. So, um, yeah, I live in New York. Um, it got cold really early this year. Um, it got cold like at the end of August, to be honest. Um, but I do know in the summertime, I always have my underarms shade for most of the time so um yeah i figured i'd show you guys today um the wax kit that i got i do want to show you guys um it is from amazon it was sent to me by trust wellness um it had five stars it was prime and you know i'm buying anything that's prime because it's coming the next day this literally came the next day yeah i ended up getting this one it's the trust wellness wax kit and it comes with a lot of stuff for only 40 dollars. i paid for this guys it's uh 111 voltage and it's a digital wax warmer it comes with a warmer it comes with wax beads and it comes with four different five actually five different wax beads so you have options there's lavender there's peppermint there's lemon there's eucalyptus and there's tea tree I think I'm probably gonna use eucalyptus because I love the smell of eucalyptus on my skin it comes with wooden sticks it comes with a pre-wax spray and after wax spray paper rings I'm not sure what that's for maybe it's to wipe your wooden sticks on it comes with a manual a lid, a power cord, a temperature adjustment, and a removable pot, and then a temperature screen. So this is everything that it has on it, guys. Yeah, we're gonna get right into it. I have so much for you guys coming up, so you guys just gotta stay tuned. I promise it's gonna be worth in the end. So yeah, let's wax these trees. Okay, so I'm gonna have a cup of wine before I do anything because I just know this is gonna hurt. I just know. Alright, so I'm just going to take everything out and show you guys before, um, I took some of the stuff out, actually. Maybe I should have put it back there. Okay, so. Are we, are we straight here? Are we straight? Because this camera be playing a little too much. One thing I'm kind of nervous about, guys, is the voltage. My power outlets are a little spooky in here. They flicker and on and off. I don't think they like high voltage, so I'm going to try and unplug everything besides my light. Before I do anything, just make sure you guys um, see as far as your power strips and you're plugging it in. Because you can, if you're living in a house or even an apartment, regardless of where you live, you can blow a fuse just by having too much voltage plugged up into an outlet. So just be cautious of that because you don't want to blow a fuse or set a fire. So these are all the flavors they sent me, okay? This one is the eucalyptus. Um, damn. The peppermint. The tea tree, the lavender, and the lemon. And then these are the um the wooden sticks. This is the wax warmer. This is the lid, I'm guessing. Yeah, this is the lid. And then this is it. It's really small and like mini, nice and like compact doesn't take up too much space so this is how it looks and these are the covers of the spray bottles oh because the spray bottles are closed and then this is the pre-wax spray no this is the pre-wax spray and then this is the after wax spray so like i said guys this stuff comes with a lot of stuff so 
I really recommend getting this regardless if it does a good job or not I mean it's beginner friendly and it just comes with everything that you need if you go to the nail salon I'm pretty sure they got all this stuff there already exact same brand everything yeah and then this is the manual that they gave me quick easy manual and then these are the circle dry circles things I don't know what they gave these to me for I'll have to read in the manual so yeah that's everything um I am going to get everything set up I'm gonna plug it in I'll probably show you guys me um just setting it up too just so you guys can see what you're supposed to do but yeah we're gonna get right into setting it up and then I'm gonna wait for it to warm up and then I'll come back once everything's warmed up and we're ready to start waxing Okay guys, so the wax is warm. I'm actually gonna unplug it, one second. Figured out what this, these were actually for the rims of this, so when you pick up, you pick up your thing, you could just lay it on here so it doesn't drizzle, I guess. Yeah, so, <sighs> we are about to get into this, guys. I'm so nervous. So we're about to introduce the main act, guys. Um, don't come for me what i'm gonna do is trim underneath my arms because when i tell y'all it's been so long like, like the hair is so long i feel like if i don't cut it it's not gonna be able to grip the hair how i want it so i'm gonna show you guys underneath my arms please don't come for me okay don't it's been a while i know yeah, I think you can do a corn roll down here. Cut some of it down so that you know we're not we're not trimming down a tree. So just getting some scissors and I'm cutting I'm cutting little scissors down. Her edges is a little too grown out. I'm gonna do the other arm. So this is how much I cut them, guys. So I took you know a decent amount of hair off because. That was a lot of hair. The directions say clean area with wax, tress pre-wax spray. So I'm going to spray this and then pat it dry because it has to be dry before you can apply the wax. Just gonna apply some of that. This smells like coconut. It smells like coconut water. Like it's I don't feel like it's nothing special. Let me see what's in this actually. Pure water, ethanol, acrylic acid, polymer with sucrose with coconut scent so that's where I was smelling that so I said wait till it's like honey I feel like I should start from like here so I'm gonna like put a patch across like right here then put a patch across like right here then I'll put a patch across like right here because I feel like it'll be quicker that way and I'll make sure that I get all the hair that I need to get okay so I'm gonna just get the wax and I actually see in my wax lady do this because this was like making a little string and she like turned it around like this so we're going to wipe it across guys oh. okay I think that's all I'm gonna do for right there it says wait about three to four seconds until the wax is not sticky anymore then pull it so it's still sticky I'm gonna wait for a second and why isn't Nikki live yet I'm so confused like I'm so confused do you see the pain oh she posted a story she said 10 to 15 minutes guys 10 to 15 minutes okay guys so we are going to pull the first one whoa 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 I just got hot I just got hot. This might be staying on me all night. Cause what? Yo, let me do this little piece that I put down here on accident. <sighs> Anyways, it's a lot of hair. So I know this is about to pull out some hair. I'm sweating. 
Okay, ready, set. Ooh. Okay, so guys, this is the first, <laughs> the first person to go. I feel like I was dragging it. I feel like it wasn't that bad, but that was intense. So we're gonna do another patch. I'm gonna try and do two patches at once. I'm never letting it get this bad again because this is absolutely ridiculous. Like what? Mm -mm. I feel like, I don't know, because I get Brazilians. I feel like if you get Brazilians, this is not going to really phase you. So I feel like I definitely can take it off quicker than how I've been letting it sit. Oh God. Oh God. Oh, oh. This one's gonna hurt, I already know it. Oh my God. You guys can really see, but this is a lot of damn hair. Okay, boom. Mom's gonna be up in the air all summer like, hey, no hair underpants, hey. So yeah guys, this is what's, what's what it's giving right now. Oh. Oh, but I think my arm is bleeding. Yeah, my arm is bleeding. Great, that's fabulous. I'm gonna do the rest of this and hopefully my armpit doesn't continue to bleed. It was like just brief. It's like right in the center. I don't know if you guys can see. And if I were you guys, I would leave the wax on while you're doing it because honestly, when it gets hard, it's harder to do. Damn, I hate how stringy this gets. All up in my weave. Okay guys, look at that armpit. What? She is clean. She's clean. And honestly, I think my tolerance for pain has definitely got better because um, that really didn't hurt as bad as I thought it would hurt. I don't know if it's more so because I get waxes. It was a little pain, but not too much. So I think if you already get waxes, Oh, and I'm using the after wax spray that they gave me. And what else I'm gonna use on it too when I'm done is um, the Ted's. If you guys watch my feminine hygiene routine, you guys know this is my go-to. Any type of hair removal that I get, any type of waxing, this will do it for you when it comes to ingrown. I'm just being precautious. But yeah, I'm gonna do the other arm because I wanna unplug this warmer before I blow a fuse. So yeah, let's get right into it. Okay guys, so I'm done. I'm gonna show you guys the finished product. Can't talk for too long, cause my sis Nikki is on live. So we gotta cut this real short. So this is my arms. And y'all seen them before, so you know. You already know there's like a little wax here and it's like a little oily because I think that after wax spray has like oil in it. But yeah, I'm summertime ready, okay? Um my armpit was like a little bit itchy, but it went away. Um, but I am gonna use this, like I said, just in case like I get ingrowns or my skin has a bad reaction to it. This just really stops it. You can get this from Target, guys. It's called Ted Skin and uh yeah so that's pretty much it um another thing that i would recommend is make sure that your warmer is on the entire time because your wax will harden up inside of the um wax warmer and you need it to be like 
more of a honey consistency so that it actually lays on your skin and like I said earlier make sure that you're leaving like a little lift to your wax when you put it on your skin so that you can rip it off your skin because if you don't you'll be picking at it with your nails trying to get off your skin and that's just not good um and another thing that i would recommend as well is make sure that you're um waxing in small if this is your first time make sure that you're waxing in small sections just because if you wax in one big section you might not get all the hair out for starters and it's gonna fucking hurt so um yeah that's pretty much it guys my sis is on live okay my sis is on live i have to go so um thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys enjoy this video don't forget to make sure that you like comment and subscribe and i will also leave the link to this wax warmer down in the description bar it is from amazon and i paid 39.99 for it so yeah i'll catch you guys in the next video bye